Pouring the out trees, of the woods, dude, the and uh, then Rita DC'd. Yes. Oh no. And while there, while there like, was we were like literally hundred zombies around us, dude. Yeah, like we were literally trying to like run back to the vehicle. I couldn't to even escape. help him. I'm like, dude, if I get out, I'm dead. Like I, we, I was just using my van to just run over zombies to help. That was the only thing I could even do to help. And Rita spawns in, gets grabbed by five fucking zombies, and Alex just had to like make a play, and she just got lucky. And yeah, I mean, really, Damn, was, I had to like really tie them close. away. I had to kite them away from the vehicle so that I could get back into it, and then basically try to drive around to wait until she could reconnect, and then plow zombies away from her, and then she sprinted away, I drove away a little bit, and she was finally able to get inside. I'm just like crazy. honking my horn trying to get their attention, like it was literally like a scene in, a, in the movie, <laughs> in a zombie movie, like, come on, go, get it! <laughs> if you like, mash Q, it it'll, crazy. it'll actually Bro. pull aggro. Bro, we were... But our hey, hearts you? were going, dude. Yeah. We, we actually thought Rita was dead. Yeah. Damn. Because I was, I was like literally five seconds away from having to just leave because I was getting so overwhelmed. We need to help Rita figure out what weapon, melee weapon she wants to use because she likes to use melee a lot and we need to, like, she's using like these one-handed, she keeps attacking with like the hand axe and stuff, which is fine, oh. but they take like 10 hits. So we need to get her like either a firefighter axe, maybe, maybe we could have her do axes. I feel like those might be the best for her. But yeah, like, or at least like long. When she levels it up. Long blade or long one would probably up. be the best. No, no, like she was, like she's been fighting people. Like she got into, she almost got killed last night because she was fighting a zombie with him, like an actual hammer, hammer. So I think we just need to figure out. We we just need to find a weapon that she likes to use and just make sure she always has it and just make sure we, she has it before we go out. Because the bigger, heavier wood axes, I feel like, would be so good for her. Because I mean, Alex, you saw I was like one shotting fuckers, like oh, yeah. at level one on the axe with that thing. So I think it would, when she gets overwhelmed, she'd be able to just kite them backwards and hit them all and and she i think it might be easier for her where'd you put the uh propane torches ryan um i maybe in your i found a tank i found two tanks maybe in know. your in your cabinets mm, it's not in those toolboxes uh, they're around here somewhere all right i don't like the fact that there's unknown mushrooms <laughs> <laughs> Just as somebody who does mushrooming oh. in real life, unknown mushroom is a dangerous phrase. <laughs> if it has a green skull beside it, don't cook with it, please. Why did you put them in my fridge? I cooked all of this stuff. It might have been mushrooms. an accident. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was pure accident. All right. Because I tried to filter lamb. them out. I'm, I'm looking for them. I also uh, don't know what happened to my uh, mechanic backpack. Super it's mysteriously lamb. gone. I put them somewhere. Uh, I have not touched any mechanics backpacks, and I okay. Maybe it's in the back of a vehicle. Also, oh, uh, I think it's I think it's probably in the back of. Uh... Yeah, I renamed my one back as it's literally called mechanic backpack. Oh, it's here. It is mechanic bag. Bro, you, have a, you have a grill on the side of your building now too. I think that your propane torches might just be inside, man. Yeah, let me go look for them. I literally went and refilled all four of those last night. Wait, are you going into town? My van's in town. Um, I brought the jeep back. Yeah, I see that. Um, yeah, I can make a trip in. Um, in a few minutes though, I need. I want to take care of. Um, That's fine. I'm gonna make sure I can find my torches because those are very important. Yeah, they're all here. I just yeah, I have them in here. Mine. If you need uh, more, okay. there's some in this box here. So I have two. Then I have some in my garage. Oh yeah, bring. Um, I mean. If you just want to like hang on to one or two and then bring the rest over to um, and put them in my like toolbox over here, in my shop area, the, that first one, that would be really helpful. Just ignore this pants. pile right here on the floor, Alex. I have a, just a pile of stuff I've been looting in and off of on the floor in here. Well, there's a generator in that one. Oh wait, I think that one's yours, Ryan. Yeah, I got four. I have three pre propane torches for you, and they're all full. All right, go ahead. Just put them in the uh, toolbox over there. I just after I did that last night, I just got off. I didn't unload my bag. No, the toolbox. 
Oh, toolbox. Red one? Yeah. Thank you. All right, the raid food is replenished. Cheers, mate. All right, we got 17 crates, bro. You want to come with me when I put these down? Uh, I'm still that. kind of recovering. Oh. What? Also, there's a whole bunch of uh, stuff. You care if I just hotwire your Jeep, Kim? No, we want you to do it to everything. Be my guess. Actually. Okay. Probably the best is to do it to everything. God forbid yeah. we have like some fucking moment where like it's not mine. Gets it's in the community. car and, and needs to drive and like I don't have the key. <laughs> <laughs> I got so, yeah. it for everybody, not for me. I have so much fucking cookware that the only thing I need is pots. Yeah, I, so, I I I brought like two or three pots home last night. So I feel like we have an excess of a lot of stuff. Um, after we drop these traps down, I'm gonna take this trailer with us over here. I'm gonna drop these after we drop these traps. Let's um get a dumpster from town, and I'll bring it back. Oh, maybe you can answer this. Yesterday I was disassembling cars. Today I couldn't. Is there a is there something I'm supposed to have to do it? A wrench. Um, you have to have a wrench to do no, like take wrench. off. No, I pull out I pull out a propane torch and I turn it into sheet metal. Oh, you can only do that to um like wrecked specific cars, cars that it, are yeah, like wrecked. They're, they when their bodies look super crunched, then okay. they're considered like a wreck. It's very. And weird. even then, they're not always like they're super crunched ones. Even then, that you can't take apart for some reason. Yeah. I don't really know why, but yeah, only certain ones can be like dismantled. Oh yeah, no, this Jeep is in great shape. The yeah. lowest, uh, the lowest thing is just the driver's seat, but that's you know, no need to really do anything about that. So you guys know the power runs out eventually, right? No, I turned that off. Okay. I was wondering why that... it hadn't happened yet. I was like, I guess yeah, just I tried. Water, it. water, and power will stay on forever, and then we also um. Uh, what, what we added propane to the gas station. So if you go to the gas station now, you can fill up propane. You can just right click on the pump and fill your propane. Because it's literally impossible to find propane, and Alex didn't have any, and we could no longer make repairs, and it wasn't fun. So, we added a tiny little mod to fix that, and it works very well. Yeah, I was tearing apart cars for mechanic points, XP, and then I saw that Jeep, and I was like, oh, can't touch this one. Is this fan this next to the med, you tent, the med building yours, it down, um, it, yeah. Kim? No, the mine's white. in town. Oh, okay, whose big white van is this then? Is this mine? That'd be mine. The one I was yeah. using last night, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yours is that black one, right? In front of Bro's house? We just have three white. I think we have three of those white vans. Does yeah. anyone have a lighter? I still don't have one. I feel like the white vans have just kind of become like... Yeah, there's the lighters all vans. over the place. <laughs> yeah, uh, the big yeah, the big white delivery vans are just like community use. Like, those are just, they're just good looting vehicles. Let's see if I find you one. Mm -hmm. no, my black one's over here. I left it on last night, so it ran out of gas. My dude's nervous as fuck, and I want to smoke. <laughs> You're nervous? Come over here and take some beta blockers. Well, I could also smoke a cigarette. Well, that would be. I was like, I really on... would rather just smoke a cigarette. That would be exactly. much more on brand for your guys. So I think. <laughs> I think we know the answer here, bro. I did find a I snow shovel. We go. I want to put these traps down. We'll need it. Yeah, I assume we will need a snow shovel, right? Because it's probably gonna start snowing in maybe a month, two weeks. I don't know what they consider winter in this game. November, maybe. They'll probably they'll probably go through November, maybe December. Snow will probably starts December through February. Well, I thought we would have had a lighter in here, but I don't. When I'm in town, I'll stop at the pub and grab you a bunch of zippos. God, I love the stews, dude. Oh, here's stews one. Stews are so OP. All right, you coming with me, bro? <clears throat> bro, no, I'm still recovering. Like I said, I, I'm fucking in pain. I'm a nervous wreck. I'm nauseous. Where's your guy at so oh, I can bring you this here, here, lighter? Here. I'm in my Is house. That you? Let me check your anus. There you go. We also need to start stocking up warm clothes, guys. So maybe we could make a trip, to, uh, kill a bunch of zombies, and just pick up a bunch of warm clothes for everybody. Um, I'll start doing that when I'm raiding the houses in town. I'm just waiting for. I a can ride. start doing things like adding you padding need. to your guys' clothes too, because now I'm getting my tailoring leveled up. You need a jacket or something, bro. Or else you're gonna probably keep getting sick. I'm not I know cold. You like your... You're okay, though. Your health is okay. Get in the goddamn van. I got oh, stew. Man. I got all the meds. We're good. I, just want, I, I want you to know where the traps are. Well, I don't have anything but my guns, but alright. That's fine. That's all you need. 
we're just setting. I have 17 traps on me. We're just gonna go find a place. It needs to be at least 100 tiles away from here. Not so, if I smoke on, in the car. Nope. Smoke away, brother. It's apocalypse. Uh, um, <laughs> where we want to put the traps, guys? Probably not. Probably more out to the left here, huh, bro? Like, way more in the left. Like north? Because we don't ever. Yeah, like north. Just over here by the, you know, the two lakes over there? Maybe we just drive down the bend some and then get out of the car and right down there on the bend we just put all the traps. Because that'll be far enough away from our base and we're always driving back and forth to the right and down. And if you're near the traps, they don't work. So I don't want to keep like making them not work. That would probably be the best at that because it's like on a road still. And, the, and Alex and I cleared that road already and there's literally no zombies up there. So. And keep in mind, they do roam. So, I mean. Yeah, but they haven't made it to eventually. us yet. True. And that's really thick trees, so they can't walk that fast through the trees. Considering we literally have to crawl through the trees. I'm just chain smoking, bro. I'm so stressed out. It's all good. It's why we're going hunting. You know, you've had a hard. You've been working in the kitchen a lot, dude. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> you got to get out a little more, man. Yeah, you know, you've been <laughs> looking at the bottom of that pot for so long. 75 tiles is really not that far away. We're like already more than 75 away. Honestly, down there at, the, at that bend, now nah, we'll go a little further. We want to guarantee that it's working. Eventually, we'll just make this whole fucking road traps um, so you can get a fuck ton of meat. I think oh, I didn't bring anything to fill up the traps with. God damn it. I have a rotten meat patty. All right, we'll start there. I was right, we could use the bugs for fishing. All those creatures that I've All right. I'm thinking just this bend, I just line them on this bend. What do you think? That could work. Just cover me. All right. You wouldn't mind, good sir. Is my gun have bullets in it? There's five bullets. All right, well, I'm not using that. Your guy looks so funny, dude. <laughs> the beard pokes through and so does my hair. Uh-oh. I'm taking damage. You're taking damage? It's only 48 degrees out, so it's definitely getting colder. <clears throat> we'll need to go back and get some bait. I got a fever again, man. <laughs> yeah, you need to put something on, man. You're wearing an apron. You don't have any clothes on, dude. Um, I'm losing health fast. What? I'm turn losing... the heat on. Turn the heat's the, get on. The car and turn the... I'm still the losing health fast. Off. What? What meds do you need? I don't do you know. Antibiotics. I need something. Here. I have something for a fever. At I have the house. antibiotics. Where are you? Fights wound infection. I'm coming. Coming. We're going back to the house. Eat to relieve cold and flu it. symptoms. <laughs> you have vitamin here. Do you need vitamins? Do you have vitamins, bro? No, I don't. Put them in the glove compartment, brother. Vitamins, uh, antibiotics, I don't know, just everything. Eat it all. Take all the pills. Yeah, Here's we gotta drive, soda. bro. I'm about to die. <laughs> uh oh. The heat's on? Yeah, it is. Is that helping you? Is it, is it a fever? Like, it's a fever, should we, yeah. Should we have the... I have the, some herbs for you when you get here. You should we have the AC on, not the heat? I'm not gonna Maybe make just it. keep... <clears throat> it's, it's not gonna happen. I'm coming, I'm running. I'm running down the street. It's not the cold. Yeah, I'm, I'm just dead. It, I'm at no health and I have nothing to heal with. Yeah, I'm dead. No! Fuck! <laughs> How do we prevent whatever that was? That's kind of scary. What happened? It's because I was sick. Like, I was just, I shouldn't have been moving. That's the thing. <laughs> you go like, loot three cars, you know what I mean? And get to max level. And then I turn it off and then everybody goes back to normal. I don't know. That, that might, that was a cool thought that I had too. Like if you, if you get it to level 10, you could earn it to unlock every time kind of thing. Hmm. 
Like since you're like since you're mechanic 10, if you were to die, I would just hop in the server with you, put the XP to like 250 times. You literally go take a battery out of a fucking car, and you'll probably be level 10. We log out, change the XP multiplier back to one, which I can do just at the server level. I don't have to do it within the, like the actual exporting file, so it's much easier. I can just do it on online, and then we just hop back in, and then you're level 10 mechanic, and everything else sucks. You know what I mean? We could, like that's a thought also. Hold on. I don't know if you guys are cool with that or not, but... Yeah, I mean, that'd be, like, a good compromise. <laughs> like, if you if you earn it, you get to keep it every time you spawn in. And I don't think, like, it wouldn't take that long at all. Alright. Goodbye, Slippery Dave. Welcome back, Lubricated Larry. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, all these cars that I parked out next to uh, Rita and Kim's house in the grass here, these are the community free use cars that I will maintain. And then, of course, any cars that you guys like, I will maintain for you also, that you want to just keep for yourselves. Oh, yes, Rose. Thank you. Well, dude, welcome to the world. Uh, have you ever heard of trapping? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to turn around and put them down, I guess. I'm really right. sorry, man. I feel like that was my fault. No, it's not a problem. I don't think it uh, was. I mean, I, I fucking agreed to come out here. I just didn't realize it was like that. I don't know. I thought, like, I didn't think that you just riding in the car would do that maybe it just has to do on like if your character's moving or not maybe the fact that you had a fever and the heat on made it worse and killed you that's why i, I was know. asking i was like maybe the heat's not helping well the thing is i was outside and i still had the fever and it was still bad yeah uh, you probably but you probably needed just to take antibiotics and go to sleep that yeah, was that's, that's what i did happened. the last time i had a fever i just don't know Guys, why we need, it a forage. One. we need a forage for whatever the fuck you have uh kim what what is it that you have all right that would have I'm gonna saved go play. Me. I'm gonna go play Apex for a little while, guys. I will be back on later. Right. Sounds good. Kim, what did you have that would have saved him? That I found. Is it an herb? Yeah, it's called Mellow. It says to eat to relieve cold and flu symptoms. I'm assuming that would probably have helped, maybe. Absolutely. It's all good. And there was so, something else that was a yeah, fever reducer, find... but I don't remember what it was. We need to find some more of that, like, before winter, or we could all die. That's a that's a sign of what could be coming if we don't get prepped on that. So after I put these traps down, we're going to stop on the... We'll, we'll pick up on the wooden stuff after winter. I think right now everything needs to shift focus oh, into getting prepared Oh, you're supposed to take me into town. I can come take you into town. Just give us a minute. I'll have to come back and put... Um, I'll take you into town, then I'll drive back over here and put meat in my traps. <laughs> And it sounds like our new player might want to uh, go level up his cooking again. Oh, I'm not too worried about that. I still have all the recipes. Uh, oh, I you found out... recipe? No, no. It's just if you start as the chef class, you get 95% of the recipes. Oh, well, there you go. So it doesn't really matter. The cooking skill only means that the stuff I cook, the random modifiers on it are better in general. All right. So this is the trap line. Yeah, you had leveled up guns and stuff too. I still, I still fucked you up. It's not a big deal. I mean, my, like the other thing is my aiming and reloading was not that high. The only thing that was high was my cooking and my short blade. <laughs> okay, so and you'll get cooking back up honestly in no time. Yeah, especially with all the ingredients we have now. It, like, you'll cook up so quick. I also started yeah. level 3, and I was only level 7. Yeah, if I died again, I would start as a carpenter. <laughs> Absolutely. Alright, dude. That's a pretty decent fucking food... Hell yeah. ...situation, don't what you think? The can I can eventually... Oh. I can eventually put more, um, like a box out here, and we can leave a box out here with, like, the tools and stuff you need to chop down... <laughs> trees and makes sense make the traps you just need nails so if you just leave a, like a couple boxes of nails out here and you just leave some wood in a box and the tools you need then if one of those because sometimes they'll break with low trapping level those won't <laughs> those will uh, succumb to the damage damn dude Slippery Dave died to fever. Out of everything that could have killed us, it was just a fucking <laughs> fever. Not the chain smoking and the drinking and the <laughs> crashing cars. I am, <laughs> I am a thousand times more terrified of fever than 
the zombies right now. <laughs> That's the thing. I got a fever and it went back to you're just sick. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm just sick. But then when you started driving with me, you got a fever again? When I started running around, yeah. Because I'd run to the car and stuff and run around all throughout the house to, like, you know, collect things and drop stuff off. And then I ran into your car. And I wasn't paying attention to it. And when I stopped out of the car and started running again, the fever thing jiggled, you know, the little head circle. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Whatever, man. Vietnam it's the point of the game. Vietnam is real. I know, it's still sad, dude. I can still be sad we lost. Basically, I think a quarter portion will get you to full to bursting level. Assuming all the stats stay the same after cooking. Oh, Firefighter Jacket gives you insane insulation. I mean, yeah. Insulation works both ways. Yeah, I just didn't. I didn't look at the stats. I mean, I assumed it would. Yeah, I just hadn't looked at it. It's no wonder I'm not getting cold. <laughs> There's supposedly the meta, I guess. Like everyone else who I play with was like, "Yeah, they're really good." Maybe there's some clothing packs that we can get that'll just reskin. What do you guys think about adding some more clothes? Make that way we don't all just have to wear fire. You know what I mean? Like. I'm game for anything. In my case, I'm just putting my vest back on, I guess. I'll just play the way I was playing. I guess that was already good for winter. Hey, the fridge is actually kind of empty now. It'll happen quick. I'm just going to make stew and fill up all the bowls I have now, and all the pots are full. And Whatever stew you want to do, dude. Keep on cooking, apparently. Alright, where's everybody at? To the main base, doing main base things. Nice. You want to come with me to put this cabbage in these traps? Yeah, I need to put these books away real quick. Look how many, I got a ton of ammo for us. Dang, all these books are packed. <laughs> All the shelves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been stocking up on all sorts of shit. Feel free to take anything from the armory that you need. Trying to see or, which... Or uh, just want. Which skills I need to read still. Lots of handgun ammo. I'm pretty sure it's handgun ammo, rifle ammo, and shotgun ammo. Pretty sure that's how they have this broken down, and that's what we're doing in the cabinets. We're just.
Help, I'm stuck in a closet. And then put that one on your back. And you've already got some other stuff in there that I had that I was going to get. Let me see what you had on you that you might need. I guess you could take your flashlight. Here, here's your flashlight if you want to take that with you still. And some batteries for your flashlights. I've actually never even used a flashlight, but... All right, I am over encumbered because I don't know how to manage my... Oh, it's a pop can that's making me over encumbered? Oh man, dude, so... So tragic. I mean, when you hit the, Tramps are the, the your limit, you hit your limit, I guess. Shut up, bro. Just don't encourage it. Don't encourage it, dude. I am wearing so much clothes, dude. I got a polo neck sweater on and a lumberjack shirt and a firefighter's jacket. You can like get a stuff. scarf and earmuffs, too. I can't carry the weight, though. The weight is what's killing me right now. You tell me I don't have any fucking meat? Oh, it's the 23 cabbages that's killing me with weight, not the clothes. <laughs> I gotta bring your cabbage back. So cabbage is what we want to use to harvest the bunnies, it looks like. That's the, the best food for them, so... Try to maybe, if, we, if you guys eat any vegetables or anything... Try to prioritize not eating the cabbage, if you wouldn't mind. Because we might be able to turn that into, uh... Bunny stew? Some bunnies, yeah. Thank you. That's like the main fridge I work out of. If we could keep all the vegetables in another one, or at least like... I need food. That's where I took it from, snack. so I was just putting it back. Oh, okay. Chef, I need some food. Go up to Ryan's house. It's in the fridge up there. Yeah, all the finished food's in our house. There's a and bunch of bowls of stew. So. Here's our house, here's our armory. Little guns we've stolen, and there's a bunch of pistols in these racks. <laughs> nothing but ammo. Um, all of our pots and pans. Cool. Rub's our chef, he makes us a bunch of raid food. So here's all of our raid food he makes us. I don't know what he's doing out there. He's on drugs, so. Alex is up here chasing you upstairs into a, yeah. a leather ripping station. We gotta do something up here. I'm gonna figure out what we're Oh, that's his up. leather daddy cave up there? Yeah, this is his leather daddy cave. <laughs> you wanna come have your balls washed? You can stick them in the washing machine. I want my I guess, balls washed. I guess hot I don't wanna do around. it myself. He's also probably gonna be bored soon. I need to read a book so I don't get bored. I think you would really like this game though. Uh, and if we die, we lose all of our skills. So you have to like. <clears throat> do stuff to level up you basically use it to get better and uh i'll show you my skills so hey ryan can you drive me around until i find a car so i can steal one yeah we're gonna have to go far away though weird um it's like sprinting i use axes mostly but if i die i lose all those damn that's sad <laughs> yeah that happened to me earlier it was sad. I mean, we didn't really care that much because it was just Brub, but if it was anybody else, we would have been, you know... Bro, Damn! Been the last nine months, all I did was play Tarkov. Bro, all this guy's done is get <laughs> drunk and crash our cars, okay? It's like, we're gonna lose somebody. That's true. <laughs> At least, he, his, he just gets his character in-game drunk, and then he swerves and crashes all of our cars. It, it fucks up your steering when you get drunk in-game. Yeah. Like, even if you're driving perfectly straight, your guy will still just, like, go into walls. <laughs> Twenty fucking dollars, oh my lord! I have an extra copy of it. I know you said you did, but I'm just like, holy shit, <clears throat> dude! This is the best twenty dollars that I've ever spent on a game. Easy. Like I have, is... I have like thirty five hours in this game, and I just bought it on. I have a hundred and ten. I bought it last week. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I also, I'm on vacation this week. <clears throat> nice. I took a week off. I'm on vacation in a week. Nice. Nice. Dude, you just got a job and you're already yeah. on vacation? Oh, that was yeah, the pre- that was the com Yeah, I remember, I remember. I told him it was a pre-determined thing and it was like, I'm going. Just letting you know, I'm going. What yeah. What do you like to do with these crickets and grasshoppers? I guess we can eat these? And I'm I have sticking them in the fishing box. Where, do you, um, where, where would you like me to dump shit? 
Uh, the three fridges out there are all dump. I, uh, I put a little bit of everything in this fridge, so that's these, why I don't want these, you to fuck with it. These out here are dump. Yeah. Just put anything in there. I put- So like, I can just dump my lovely lady lump? Yeah. My hump, my hump? Okay. 